Google is coming for Claude Code. They just shipped Gemini CLI. They're free, open source, command line coding agent. It dropped today. In today's video, I'm gonna demo how to set up Gemini CLI, the tools it has available that makes it unique, and we'll build a project from start to finish. Let's dive in. Command line interfaces are the hot thing right now in AI coding, and Gemini is entering the race. So it's free of charge. You can log in with your Google accounts. Uses the Gemini 2.5 Pro model. Like I said, huge, massive, 1 million token context window. And Google's really pushing the freeness of this to get developer exposure. It feels like 60 mile requests per minute, 1,000 per day, free of charge. And it's open source, so you can pull down this code, plug in with your own Claude model if you want, tune it. They're being super transparent there. We love that as the community. Super cool stuff. So they include these setup docs here in the GitHub, make it super easy. So let's get into the sauce. I'm going to pull up my project for Strava for dog walks. And we have the command right here to add Google Gemini. I've already tied my Google account to it, but your first time doing it, you'll see off window to sign with Google. Gemini CLI has a ton of features. Obviously for simplicity, you can always just talk to your code base and chat feature. Like what does this repo do and what languages is it using? And this will all be occurring in the CLI. This is still a little different for me. I'm used to my cursor agent mode in the right, but as these tools get powerful, I'm adapting more and more. We can see fully what it's doing. It's read the README, the package JSON, and yeah, we get it's a Strava for dog walks. We built this yesterday in our Augment video. Gives a high level feature overview, front end mobile application. Cool. Now let's talk about the core features of Gemini CLI. We can type slash and get this whole menu to view all the features here. One cool thing is the tools, list the available tools we have. If we want to do something specifically and not just free chat with it, you know, we can read folders of files, search, create files. We have web fetch, which is a unique attribute of Gemini CLI, use Google search power. We also have the memory command to store my preferences in Gemini CLI history. We can say memory add, I love Tailwind CSS and modern sleek minimal styling, click enter, and then we can see, okay, I've remembered this. So that way, if you use it again, this project or a future project, it can know that specifically. And this will also build memories on itself as we code, but this just gives a good option for specifics. We also have the stats command. This checks our session stats to see if we're going over the daily limit. Yep, we've used 15,000 tokens in the last turn, and we have the cumulative stats here so quick easy transparency also gemini cli does have a million context window but we can always use the compress command to compress the context by replacing it with a summary that way we don't go over the limit we were only at about 1700 tokens and made it to 200 so made it to 10 15 of its original size pretty good you also have the ability to add mcps we can use the mcp command it's going to open this docs in my new window right here i can show you but full instructions on how to add your own MCPs into the Gemini CLI. Not enough time for that in this video, but maybe in a future one. So very good pluggability to give flexibility for your assistive coding partner. And just like in cursor, you can reference specific files using at. So I can use app at app navigator, the one we have open up here, click enter and you know, say, what does this component do should be an easy question but gives you specificity when asking about certain files yep and this is good for someone without react native knowledge this would be a good intro way into understanding tab screens in this application and you can always type slash help to see the major commands they have you can do bug reports you can manage your chat conversation history editor preferences etc so decent flexibility here okay now we're in an untouched next.js 15 repo I'm going to see if this Gemini CLI can build out my landing page for my new wearable, the CUDA band. It's not real yet, but I'm going to give it instructions for what I want to build and give it some reference photos and see how it does. 
in this Next.js repo, build me a modern, dark-themed landing page for my new fitness wearable, the CUDA band. Use the attached screenshots from whoop.com as a reference for styling. Include a hero section, feature section, testimonials, and final call to action. Use animations where applicable. And I'm just gonna take some screenshots from whoop.com to see how accurate it can be in modeling them. Just simple as dragging it in, creates the temporary file, and we'll click submit and see how it does. Okay, it finally finished. Again, it got stuck in this npm run dev loop, which is a little weird. But if we go check out our page, bang. This is pretty cool. It did, if you compare it to Whoop, it does have that kind of dark theme in the middle. But we have a nice intro header, feature section with the animations I requested. Just some solid stats, testimonials, and final CTA. Cool. So obviously this is just a static web page, but it's a good starting point for what I wanted to. And from the demos I've also seen, it also has a good ability to work with AI models like Gemini to build AI applications. Maybe we'll do that in a future video. So let me know what you guys think. Have you tried Gemini CLI? Is it working for you? How's it compare to Cloud Code? And just in general, what are your feelings on CLI coding interfaces? Me personally, I'm much more comfortable in kind of the right tab agent mode with cursor or augment. We'll be pushing the limits of Google CLI and other AI coding agents in the future. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss those. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.